feel like this next tip is a quirky one or kind of a different type of tip, but I love it so much and it has really resonated with me over time. I was just talking with a friend about it yesterday and I hope it resonates with you too. And this tip is to get ready for the next shift. If you've ever worked a job where you had a shift, a certain number of hours that you worked before you had to close up the store for the night and get it ready for the next shift, then you'll especially um, relate to this. But basically after you've worked a certain amount of time, you had a list of duties or tasks to accomplish and then a list of things to really double check or triple check before you closed up the shop for the night before you essentially went home and went to bed. And then if you've worked a morning shift, then you know you still had responsibilities that you had to kind of wrap up or do before the maybe afternoon or the next shift came in. This tip actually relates so well to motherhood or homemaking. And that's because you have a list of things that you want to get done in the evening to make sure the house is kind of tucked in and put to bed. I sometimes call it putting the house to bed and you want to get it ready for the opening shift. Now this is the hilarious quirky part because you as the mom are also the opening shift, the morning shift to the next morning. So you're getting it ready for yourself. But that's totally fine with me because this works for me as a mental picture and a really good motivation to make sure I wrap up tasks and make the house clean and tidy and put to bed well for the next morning for the opening shift, which is also myself. Basically, in the evenings, you are viewing your evening routine as a closing shift and you are getting the house all set for the opening shift in the morning. And you know, for me, how I subdivide my day, I also view the end end of the morning shift, I guess, around lunchtime and when I put the kids down for nap time and quiet time as a conclusion of a shift as well. Right now this is nap time slash quiet time in our household and I made sure I had tasks done and wrapped up to a certain standard so that I know that I can pick them up again when my afternoon shift starts. Of course you're never off the clock as a parent, but hopefully this tip is helpful and encouraging to you if you are thinking about how you can basically make your future self thank you when you come in for your next shift. A good action step for this tip is to sit down and brainstorm just a really brief list of things that the opening shift in the morning, which would be yourself, would appreciate coming downstairs to in the morning. So maybe it, maybe your coffee maker has a nice timer where you can wake up to the smell of coffee, or maybe you just wanna make sure the dishwasher had been running overnight, or any other way that you can kind of set yourself up for success, whether it's laying out your Bible on the coffee table, or maybe just putting your little cute tea bag next to your favorite mug. The, those are some cute ways, but then you can also just brainstorm some homemaking, housekeeping tasks, like making sure the laundry, the dryer was running overnight. There are a lot of things you could brainstorm, but basically sit down, brainstorm things that your future self would thank you for when you come downstairs in the morning the next morning. 